fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. The western United States was first opened to settlers, and the wagon trains pushed west to the Mississippi. The pioneers were faced with many dangers. Outlaws and hostile Indians roamed the territory. The country was rough, and the trails were poorly marked. Without the help of the masked rider of the plains, many of the emigrants would never have reached their destination. It was the Lone Ranger's knowledge of the country, his courage and resourcefulness, which made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the hills! Hello, Silver! Away! midday, and the wagon train led by Jason Barker had halted on the open plain. Jason himself, astride a heavy bay, was stationed at the head of the long line of covered wagons. His gaze was fixed upon two horsemen who approached from the west at a gallop. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it can't be done, Mr. Barker. It's like we said it'd be. We hadn't got over a couple of miles into the hills before we found signs of redskins. We'll have to circle. You don't figure it'd be safe for us, eh? You've got a powerful big party here, Mr. Barker, but just the same, I'd advise steering clear of the hills. You wouldn't have no chance. It'll take longer to circle, but it'll be worth it in the end. I see. Martha? Yes, Jason. Come here. You going to make camp here for the rest of the day, Mr. Barker? Or do you figure to make a few more miles before sundown? That's my business. Huh? I said that's my business. Say, what's getting into you? We know... I hired you men to guide us to Meadville. But you're finished. We'll get along without you. You can go back to Santa City. What in blazes is the matter? You have the money? Yes. Give it to me. Uh-huh. I reckon you'll find it's all here. Well, count it if you don't believe me. I cheat no man. Now, look here, Mr. Barker. I don't savvy Take what Take your you... money. But we won't to... argue with him, Tim. Take it. If he says we're fired, then I guess maybe we are. Mm, doggone if I can savvy this. Before you leave, I'll give both of you a word of advice. Yeah? The next time you hire out as guides, don't try to trick the folks you work for. It don't pay. Blast it, what's this about? Where'd we trick you? Where'd you get a fool notion like that? When you suggested riding ahead to scout out the trail through the hills, I'll let you go. It was a test. I wanted to see what you report when you return. Well? You say there's engines ahead. According to you, we ought to circle the hills. You should. If we circle, it'll take us an extra three weeks to reach Meadville. Maybe a month. What of it? Ain't that better than risking a fight with the Redskins? Well, it would be. Well, then. If there was any. Huh? If there's any? Why, doggone it, there's a thousand at the least in them hills. There ain't. Why, you fool, that's been Indian country since as long as I can remember. Huh? But they ain't there now. What? They left the hills more than a month ago. 
He followed the buffalo herds to the north. Jason, where'd you hear a crazy story like that? It ain't crazy. It just so happens to be the truth. But where'd you hear it? From a trapper I met in Center City. He'd just come from the hills. He'd been from one end of them to the other. They'd never seen redskins. There's something doggone funny about this. Just who was this trapper? Did he tell you his name? Yes, Dade Humber. Did you say Dade Humber? I did. Why, Dade's the biggest crook around these parts that ever dodged hanging. And if he's a trapper, then I'm a lawyer by thunder. I expected you'd say something like that. The fact is, when he warned me again, he said you likely would. That crook had the crust to warn you again, Oz? That'll be enough of that. You'll gain nothing by calling him a crook. But doggone it, he is. He didn't act like he was dodging the law. Why should he? He's always been too slick for the law to get anything on him. As a matter of fact, I asked about him, in case you got the notion it's just your word against his. Everybody I asked said Dade Humber was a fine, trustworthy man. Folks in Center City told you that? They did. Well, that beats all. Tim, how can you figure that? I don't know, unless... Unless what? Well, Dade runs around with a bunch of fellas just as crooked as he is. If so be it, it happened to be some of them, you asked. And so be it they knew he was scheming something and aimed to help. Why, then, they tell you just about the same as you claimed you heard. By golly, Tim, I bet that's it. Dade's up to something, and this is just another one of his crooked schemes. Yeah? And what would he stand to gain by? I don't know, but he's... Then we won't argue no more. Your pay just clear out. You really mean that? You really figure to make out a loan? Without no trouble at all. Gosh, I... asked it, Tim, if he's fool enough to take Dade's word again ours, then let him. It's nothing to us. Come on, let's get going. I don't like it. Just clear out. All right then, Jason, we will. But you mark my words. The day you believe the polecat like Dade is going to be the sorriest day you ever spent. Keep that in mind. And I got a notion the time will come when you'll recollect it without no prompting. Adios. Get up there. Get, up. get along. Get up. Get up. Well? Are you sure you're done right? There's been other times when you were Of course sure. I'm sure. And it ain't a woman's place to question a man's decision. Get back to the wagon. We'll be starting. Yes, Jason. All right, folks. Whip up the horses. Keep going straight ahead. We're making for the hill. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. A little more than five miles from the trail was a large wooded depression in the level surface of the plain. There, a group of hard-faced men had made camp. Less than two hours after Jason had given the order to head for the hills, a horseman raced from the camp and... Whoa, whoa there, whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 hi, fellas. Hi, hi. <laughs> well, Dave, you was right. It worked. <laughs> Did, eh? What happened? I kept watch from cover when I seen Tim and that other fella ride back to the wagons. You could see they had an argument with Jason. Then they rode off. Which way? Like they was heading for Center City. They... Oh, doggone. Who you got over there? Just a red skin we caught sneaking around camp. Hanging on to him till he decides to tell us what he was spying for. What's your handle? You hear me, engine? Who in blazes are you? You savvy white man talk. Uh. Oh, you got a tongue, huh? Well, then answer up. Me not talk. <clears throat> ah. Now, how about it? Me not talk. Why, you know... Hello, alone, Spike. He won't talk. Come on back here. Just let him be till he's had time to think things over a bit. Wonder where he come from. I know. I'll find out before he gets loose again. Spike, which way is that wagon train traveling? You get a chance to see? Them? <laughs> Shucks, they're making for the hills. They ain't gonna waste no time circling. Not them folks. <laughs> They know it'd just be a waste of time. <laughs> that Barker hombre is just the kind of fella I like to fool. It's a doggone easy. I would have said just the opposite. Uh huh. That's why I can scheme things at work and you can't. Now take this fella Jason Barker, for instance. <laughs> Suspicious as they make him and stubborn as all get out. You figured he'd be the last man you'd try to trick and get away with it. I sure thought he'd be. You just got to know how to handle him, though. You seen what a fine fella he thought I was before he and his bunch pulled out of Center City. <laughs> you had him eating out of your hand, Dave. Sure. 
By telling them how smart he was. <laughs> he was so doggone convinced I was telling the truth there that he believed everything else I said along with him. <laughs> well, what'll we do now? Just stay on here? For the present? Yeah, that'll feel good. I've been on the move so doggone You ain't long staying, I... Spike. Huh? But look here, Dade. There ain't nothing to do right now. I don't see why you I can can't... You can stay and rest up for tonight. But that's all. Why? The wagon train won't get into the hills till tomorrow sometime. Sure, so, so why... So you can stay here tonight. But I want you to follow that wagon train all the time it's in the hills. And just the second them redskins strike, you hightail back and let us know. But well, why can't somebody else do that? Who else is there good enough so they won't be caught? Doggone it, Dade. You can follow them immigrants in a wagon and they'd never see you. It ain't the immigrants I'm worried about. It's the engines. You know them wagons won't never get through the hills without the engines attacking, don't you? Uh-huh. Well, then why not wait, mm, say, a week and then ride when we know them immigrants must have been killed? Because if we did that, there wouldn't be nothing left worth of stealing. What the Redskins didn't take themselves, they might be burned up. Nope. What we got to do is get there just when they beat the immigrants. But just before they've had a chance to loot the train. Mm. We'll ride down on them like we was reinforcements. Grab what's to be had when they scatter, then be on our way before they have time to save it. They got us outnumbered. Mm-hmm. And what if they don't scatter? You ever see the time engines didn't when whites attacked? They will at first, all right. Well, you're the boss. Sure, Dade's right, Spike. Dade, you got any notion of how much we're likely to get out of this? You pump Jason any? <laughs> Plenty. And if there ain't at least 10000 in cash to be had, besides the grub and other things we can pack away to sell, then I'm looking... Hey, look! Come on, over there! The engine's loose! Hey, stop there! Get that redskin! How'd he get loose? How do I know? You missed! Shoot again! He's got to the horses! Get him up! Go! Get him up! Well, that's what he's getting away. And if he's savvy what we were saying, he's heard of plenty! We've got to get him back! Come on! Hit leather! Yep. A hundred dollars to the man that brings that red skin down. Get up there. Get up, come on. Get up, get up. Riding low upon the neck of his powerful stallion, Tonto raced toward the hill. He came at last to a gully and followed it until he reached a small, well-hidden camp. Oh, Scout! Oh! Oh, fella! Oh! What's the matter, Kimasabe? You've ridden Scout hard. Huh? Me ride heap hard. What happened? Me pine outlaw. They'd humber? Huh? They saw you? Me fall, get caught, then take Tonto prisoner. They caught you, Tonto? Huh? But how'd you get away? Them not tie Tonto good. Me get loose. Good for you, Kimasabe. Them chase after Tonto. Can they follow? Me not know. Did you learn what they're doing in this part of the country? Did you hear anything to tell you what they're planning? Me hear plenty. Yes? Them want bad engine, kill white people. The people with a wagon train? Not right. And then? Pale face die, outlaw steal cash. Then their scheme won't work. Why it not work? I know the guys who were hired to lead the wagon train. They're old timers. They'd never let them go through the hills where the Indians would attack. Wagons go in hills, though. You're sure? Huh? Guide not with wagons. You mean those emigrants are going ahead without guides in country like this? Them on way now. They'll never get through. Uh, we better... What's that? Them outlaw. They trailed you, Tonto. Into the saddle. Uh, yeah. We can't waste time putting it out That's now. That's right. The wagon train must be well on its way toward the hills by now. Uh, and they've got to be warned before the Indians can strike. Let's go, Kimasabe. Get him up. Get him. Silver, away! Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. After escaping from Dade Humber and his men, the Lone Ranger stopped only long enough to hide his mask and assume a disguise. Several hours later, he and his faithful Indian companions sighted the wagon train. It had already threaded the narrow pass which formed the entrance to the hills and had drawn up in a protective circle on a flat plateau several miles beyond. Dusk was beginning to fall, and the campfires of the emigrants could be seen plainly in the distance. There they are, Tyler. Ah, how's my disguise? And all right. I'll have a better chance to persuade them I'm telling the truth if they don't see my mask. Uh-huh. See those trees ahead? Uh, me see them. You leave me there. You can watch our back trail for Dade and his men. It's better that these people don't see you. They'd mistrust an Indian. All right. Here we are, Kimasabi. I'll return as quickly as I can. Uh, oh, Scout. Oh. oh. Come on, boy. I think they see you, Silver. Who's there? A friend. Oh, boy. Oh. Who's your leader here? He's coming, mister. I just called him. Where are you heading? For Meadville, like us? No, I just... Howdy, stranger. You're the leader of this wagon train? Uh-huh, that's me. Uh, yet, yet? If you ain't, the women folks are just getting the fiddles ready, and you're welcome to have... That can wait. I'd advise you to forget food for the present and pull out of here. Huh? Hasn't anyone warned you that this was Indian country? The Redskins in these hills will attack whites at any opportunity. <laughs> oh, you don't know about it neither, huh? About what? Well, you see, stranger, I knew this was Indian country right enough. But they done cleared out. Ain't a one of them in the hills. They're following the buffalo to get meat for the winter. I've been in and around these hills for the past month. Yeah? And in that time, I've seen no less than a hundred Indians. That means there's at least ten times more I haven't seen. You chose the hill trail believing yourselves safe. You're badly mistaken. Now, stranger, you must have made a mistake somehow. I got my information on right good authority. Well, look, Jason. Well, this fellow's saying just the same as those fellows that was guarding us did. I, I'm i beginning to think that maybe we've been banking too much on that trapper's say-so. It seems to me that... Dan, all... Mr. Humber must Humber, have known... Humber, did you say? Well, you know him. If it's Dade Humber, I do. It's the same one. He's the fellow told me about the engines leaving the hills. Dade Humber isn't a trapper. He's a crook. Just what them guards said. You got something against him? Only the fact that he's an outlaw who's been too clever to let himself be trapped. That's why I'm here. To see that he's brought to justice. Oh, you're a lawman, eh? I'm not a lawman, but I help... Oh, not, you say? No. Then if Dade Humber's a crook, which I ain't admitting just on your word, stranger, just what authority you got to jail him? That doesn't matter. What does matter is the fact that you're in danger. Your party will never get through these hills alive. Mister, you're up to something. You think so? I don't know what it is, and I don't care. Maybe you're a friend of them guides I fired, figuring to get their jobs back from. Maybe it's something else. But whatever it is, I'm free to say you won't get away with it. In other words, you mean you intend to keep on going, is that it? I do. That's plain enough, ain't it? I hope... Hold on, Jason. You listen to me. I'm the leader of this party, Dan. Sure you are. But you're doggone stubborn, too. You've made your share of mistakes before this. Maybe you can tell us what to do most times, but when it's our lives we're risking, the rest of us should have something to say. Dan, you... No, know... by heavens, this is once you're going to listen, whether you hanker to or not. I met that Dade Humber just like you did, and I didn't like his cut. He soft-soaped you till you figured him to be the finest fellow you ever met up with. Well, he didn't soft-soap me none, and I still don't like him. And I'm telling you right here and now what we're going to do. Well? We're calling everybody together. You can have your say, and the stranger can have his. When everybody's had the chance to listen to both sides and decide for themselves, then if they still want to go ahead, that's all right with me. But if they decide to turn back and circle the hills, by thunder, you'll do it. I've got no objection to seeing what the rest have to say. You ain't? Because I know they'll do like I tell them. All right, call them together. The immigrants gathered around their leader, ready to take part in the discussion. Jason soon learned that his custom of making decisions without consulting his companions 
had become increasingly unpopular. And when the Lone Ranger had finished speaking... Folks, I don't know what the rest of you think, but what the stranger just said makes sense to me. I'm for turning back while we still got our scouts. Oh, my, Jason. How about the rest of you? Well, I'll wait, folks. Circling the hills means all them extra weeks. It means... We've that... heard all that already. And I say there ain't no sense in going over it again. You said it was up to us to decide, Jason, and you'd abide by it. <laughs> don't, don't you think you'd better listen to him, Jason? Uh, doggone fools. Well, if they can stand spending a month or so extra on the trail, I reckon I can. Look here, stranger. Yes? You've won out. Now that you've made such a point of our turning back, I'll just let you decide what to do. Do we turn back now or wait till morning? No doubt the Indians already know you're here. If there are any. There are. But the villages are quite a few miles into the hills. They believe you intend to continue on. No doubt they'll wait until you've reached a place where an attack would be safer. Meaning? There should be no danger in staying here until morning as long as you post proper guards. In the morning you can back trail and be out of the hills before the Indians realize you're escaping. You seem to be the boss around here. All right, folks. You can do what you please. We're staying here for the night. Hey, look, there's a redskin. Grab your gun. Shoot him down. Maybe there's more. Hold on. Put down those guns. It's a redskin, I tell you. It's Tando. Tell you, Kimosabe. Don't fire, I tell you. Tando's a friend. Oh, 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 oh. What is it, Tando? Me. Me see outlaw. Indeed? Huh? They're here? Them at pass. What are they doing at the pass? Them got blasting powder. Wagons go back. Them blow up pass. What? What's the matter, stranger? What's happened? You can't go back. If you do, you'll never get through the pass. You'll have to go through the hills. What's this all about? You haven't only Indians to fear, Jason. You're worse. White renegades will prey upon their own race. What are you talking about? Go ahead and you meet the Indians. Return and the pass will be blocked. But do as I say and we'll find a way out yet. Lone Ranger explained the plan he had in mind, and the men of the party carried out his orders. In the morning, the train moved on. Meanwhile, the outlaws had made a new camp at the pass, and... Did Spike say the wagons was keeping on, Dade? Yeah. He was watching when they started out this morning. How's he going to signal us when to come? If they've attacked a day, he'll have to ride back here. Mm-hmm. If it's later, why, then he'll build a smoke signal. Don't worry, none. You'll get word to us all right. Well, the sooner we hear, the better. I'm getting tired of this. I, I want to get back to town. You will. <laughs> and when you do, you'll have your pockets lined with cash. How does that hit you? <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Wait. Huh? You hear anything? That's a horse. Coming this way to gallop. I, I wonder... Why, Thunder, how... look at it. It's Spike. You think it's happened already? You figure it's time to ride? Wake up the boys and tell them to get to the saddle. If the engines are struck already, we'll be on our way. Right. Come on, boys. Spike! Hi there, Spike! The engines! You hear that, man? Get to the saddle, like I said. Where are them inches at? Where'd they attack? Not a dozen miles down the trail. Right where it cuts off to the west. They got guns? Not many that I could see. Yeah, then here's where we collect. Come on. Spur them horses till they run faster than they know how. Get up there. Get up, get up, get up there. and whipping their horses, Dade and his men swept up the trail. As they approached the scene of the attack after less than an hour of hard riding, they heard shouts and gunfire. And when they breasted the rise, they saw the train surrounded by savages. Oh, oh, oh. Dade signaled for a halt, and for almost half an hour, they watched the battle below them. They've sure been going it hot and heavy. Just about over, though. Look there. See them far wagons? There ain't been a shot fired from them in the last ten minutes. There's another where they've all been killed off. How soon do we ride? Ain't it just about time? I don't think there's one of them emigrants left, Dade. Look, them redskins are getting off their horses. They wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't over. Right. All right, fellas. Listen carefully. Yeah. Follow me when I start. Whoop and holler as loud as you can and fire your guns as fast as you can load them. Make them engines think there's a couple of regiments swooping down on them. 
Grab what you can, then light out again when I say the word. Everybody got that straight? Then let's go. Get up there. Get up. Sweeping down on the wagon train, the outlaws fired wildly and yelled at the tops of their voices. The Indians below looked up in apparent surprise, milled about in confusion for a moment, then jumped to the backs of their mounts and disappeared in the forest. The outlaws raced on toward the silent wagons. Make it fast, boys! You watch that the engines don't come back. If they do, get the signal. Right! Ain't nobody moving! Pull up! Oh, 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 oh. Pete! Pete, you and Red Sun over there. Mike, you go down a ways. Snake! Take the rest of the boys and start from the other end. Get all the cash and everything else we can carry that's worth it. And be blame sure you don't overlook nothing. Now get moving. Come on, fellas. We ain't got much time. I'll fire three shots if we have the light out. You won't. What the? Drop that gun. Take the men. Masked man, here's where you go. Next time, do as I say. Well, that's true. This is one time you didn't get away with it, Dave. We got the skunk. They dropped their guns without firing a shot, the yellow poor well, cats. So where'd you fellas come from with... We thought you was all killed because the stranger there schemed it that way. Them fellas you thought was Injuns were just some of us with our skin stained. What in place? Don't disguise them. We done it to draw you coyotes from the past. Now just try and blow up the past so as we can't get through. Last you, Spike, you got us into this. If you hadn't let them pull you... How was I to know? You'd have been pulled just like I was. And you needn't claim different. That'll be enough. They ain't you and your men are going to Meadville with a wagon train. There you'll be turned over to the law. You, you can... keep still. And you, Jason, you'll have to back trail until you reach the plains again. And then circle the hills. You still have time if you hurry. Well, just as you say, friend. He's learned his lesson, stranger. Good. Come on, Tutter. Uh, hurry! Get away! Get away! Get away! Well, now, why in blazes did he leave in such a big hurry, Martha? Land sakes, I don't know. All I know is that we'd better hustle and do the same. And if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be able to. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.